Okay, we're back, fam. I need y'all's advice, okay? Um, I took the fluff out of this mix because, it really, it was just getting on my nerves. And, I mean, I liked it at first. But, honestly, I think I like how the mix sounds without the fluff. You know? So, we're going to see. Um, Leave a comment below. Let me know if you like it with the fluff or without the fluff because I do have the fluff on standby. But I was thinking about adding that to my next natural fine dirt and carpet freshener mix. I think it'll be better suited in that mix. So just leave a comment and let me know. I'm bored, so I'm about to play with tools mostly with this, and then I'll do a brush roll. <laughs> I also like the fact that my bin dumps are going to be so much easier. Without that fluff, oh my gosh, because it was like so much with the fluff, like doing the bin dump. And I know you guys like to see the bin dumps on camera, but I don't have a tripod just yet. So my hands is my tripod <laughs> for right now. So I'm trying to make it easy on myself. And if you guys haven't noticed, the dusting brush is my favorite tool. Like, oh my gosh. How you doing? How you doing? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Also, I do have a new mix coming. It will be here probably uh, next week along with a new rug and a new vacuum. Now, I would say which vacuum I'm going to get, you know, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm a Bissell kind of loving girl. Like, I love the Bissell vacuums. You know, whatever. But. I don't know. 
Maybe it'll be a Bissell. Maybe it'll be a Shark. Maybe it'll be the Heart Vacuum. Maybe it'll be a uh, the Shop Vac. I've been looking at some of those. As well. I might get one of those. But yeah, so you guys will see next week, you know. I'm going to keep on pushing and keep on trying to push out these videos for you guys. Because I do just be in here just vacuuming and when I'm by myself. And, you know, sometimes I don't even record. I just be in here and, you know, I'm bored or my anxiety is high or I feel myself about to slip into a depression. You know, I'll get up and I'll just vacuum. And I I won't be able to record it because I'm so focused on getting out of the mood that I'm in and trying to make myself feel better. So I just, I vacuum and then once I've got myself together after that vacuum and then I may record me vacuuming again because I just, I really love to vacuum. It's like my thing to do, like. That's really all I do. I work, sleep, eat, and vacuum. <laughs> you guys, my girlfriend, like, she hates it. Like, she be like, why do you vacuum so long? Like, the carpet is clean. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and I be like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's a stress reliever. It's an anxiety reliever. Like, it just, it helps. It's helped me for the last past five years. So, I'm going to keep doing it, you know. So, yeah, I just want to share that with you guys. This girl here. Sasha, get off the dresser. Sasha. Sasha. Down. She wants to get that ladybug that's up there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but, yeah, she's tweaking because it's up there and she's so mad. <laughs> Don't know why she's so mad about it. Cause probably cause she can't catch it. But yeah, you need to get down from my, where my TV is. That's what you need to do. You need to get down. Down. upload um i'll probably upload them tomorrow um i may upload like two tonight and then the rest tomorrow because i've done like five <laughs> but um yeah my camera kept cutting off that's why it's like five my camera kept cutting off and so i had to keep starting over of the videos and then i was just like you know what let me just Take a moment, stop trying to make such a perfect video, and just take a moment and relax. I know y'all seen it, but yes, I smoke weed, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's my thing, I smoke in a vacuum, and I feel so much better afterwards. Um, But yeah, I just felt like I should talk a little bit in this video, you know, give you guys a little bit about me, you know, so you can just get to know me a little bit because you guys have been supportive, very supportive, even without knowing me. So I just wanted to give you guys just a little bit about myself, the things that I've gone through. Um, I am 31 years old. I may, I know I look young, but I'm 31. Uh, my birthday is in December. I'm a Sagittarius. I've lost my mom and my granny um, in March. I've lost my best friend, July um, 2017. I lost him July 31st, 2017. I lost my mom, March 31st, 
2017. And then I lost my godmother October 22nd, 2017. And I just lost my granny um last month on March 25th, 2022. And then um one of my little cousins, uh, actually two of my cousins died on the uh freeway. Um my girl cousin, she um ran into the back of a semi truck and was ejected from her car. And then my other cousin, he was ran over on the freeway. Like he had pulled over to use the bathroom and I guess when he got out the car, like someone had drove by really fast and hit him or whatever. It is really messed up. Um but yeah. So, those are the things that bother me on a daily basis, you can say. So, that is why I vacuum. Like, all the losses that I've had, that's the way that I cope with it. Because, you know, some of them were tragic and then some of them were just, you know, health was failing. And, you know, like when my mom passed, she passed from pancreatic cancer. So, this vacuum right here, I call this vacuum Tracy. Tracy is my mom. And I call this vacuum Tracy because it's green and black. Now, my mom's favorite color was purple, mind you. But her pancreatic can cancer symbol is this color green. So that's why I call this vacuum Tracy. And it's just very sentimental to me. And I use it a lot because it makes me feel better. Um, I have my best friend and my grandmother's ashes and, and necklaces that I wear every day. Um, I don't know. It's just, you know, just, I find different ways to cope with the things that I lost and the things that I can't control because I am such a sensitive person, I guess. <laughs> so those are the things that lead me to vacuum and lead me to you know, feeling anxiety and everything like that. It, and I just wanted to share that with you guys so you guys would know, you know, if you're out there and you're feeling like this, you know, you're not alone. And you can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook. Um, You can follow me on Snapchat. My Facebook and my Instagram is Shanae Tompkins. Um, my Snapchat is... I don't know the name of my Snapchat, y'all. I don't even get on Snapchat. Never mind. Don't hit me up on Snapchat. <laughs> I don't use that app. I, I just don't. Um, but yeah, Facebook and Instagram, you know, if you ever want to talk or, you know, if you have any requests on what you want to see me do or anything with the vacuum, you know, you can uh, definitely follow me there and send me a message and let me know. Uh, inform me that you are a part of the VAC community so that I can get back to you because most people who message me on Facebook or whatever and they're foreign, I don't respond because it's always some weird stuff and a scam. So, you know, just let me know that you're part of the community and I'll get back to you ASAP. So now I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> I'm going to take this dusting brush off. Time to use another tool. We're gonna use the other two tools. Um, I broke my pet brush. I don't know how I did it, but I did it with the fine dirt. I don't, and I don't. There's nothing really crunchy in there, so I don't even know how it broke. But yes, I broke it with a fine dirt mix, and it doesn't rotate anymore. Uh, it still sucks up stuff, but it just the stuff just gets stuck at the bottom of it. So that's why I haven't been using it. Um. And I've added so much more natural dirt to my natural dirt and um, carpet freshener mix. Like, the bag is, like, huge now. Like, huge. Um, but, yeah, it's it's really fun to play with that one, too. And I believe I'm going to add the cotton to that. After I post this video, I just need y'all to let me know what y'all think. Because I'm loving this mix right here without this cotton. I'm not even going to lie. Like, it's awesome. It sounds awesome with the tools and we're going to see how it sounds with the brush roll i'm pretty sure that's going to be way more awesome than the tools i'm almost certain because i love a brush roll a good brush roll video oh i'm in that thing like oh my gosh yes <laughs>
Also, you guys, um, I am a mother. I have an 11-year-old. Um, he has a intellectual disability, a learning disability, and he's borderline autistic. So, that's another thing that I deal with on a daily basis. Um, it started off with him, like, not talking at all. But now, he can hold a whole conversation with you. Oh, my gosh, he talks too much. But... It was a long road just, you know, having to deal with that and never having to deal with that before. And now, don't get me wrong, I used to babysit kids all the time. Like, I love kids. Like, that was my thing. I used to babysit kids all the time. But it's different. <laughs> I'm going to say it's different than having your own because you can never get rid of them. Like, <laughs> never. But um, I love my son, you know, and... It was a lot, but it's gotten so much easier, and he's just the sweetest little thing. He's so sweet. He loves his mom. Like, he'll check on me every five minutes when he's here. He's not here right now, but he'll check on me every five minutes, give me hugs, give me kisses. He's just the sweetest little thing. Oh, but he is bad. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> he is terrible. He's just sneaky with it. That's what it is. And he's a Sagittarius like me. Our birthday, our birthdays are two weeks apart. This is November twenty third minus December seventh. Oh my gosh, we we don't clash, but when we do, it's like, well, you my mom, so I gotta be submissive. But I could tell that he be want to say some little stuff like you, that. Don't just be it for him. Like, and his head, he's probably cussing me out. I'm I'm hearing everything that he's thinking, so you know. But yeah, I also wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, so let's finish this video so I can take me a bubble bath. <laughs>
Now I have to have like a claw from here. I don't know what the hell is going on.
All right, y'all, let's wrap this up with whatever carpet lines we can see in this kind of carpet I got. <laughs> dropping something.